Hello and welcome back to Wild Child Yoga with Melissa Aidy. I'm from and beyond and welcome to my backyard. So today we're going to do a slightly slower class, a bit of a warming class. And the postures that I'm, I've chosen for today really focus on anxiety. So you may not know what anxiety means. I'm sure you've experienced it. But when we feel really nervous in our lives, when we're overstressed, um, things feel a bit overwhelming. And the amazing thing about something like anxiety is we can choose to take control of it to a certain degree through our breath, through what we think and what we do with our bodies. So let's begin our yoga class and just bringing your hands to your heart, focusing on yourself, closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. There we go. And exhaling. And inhale, focusing on yourself and your heart and exhale. And one more deep breath in, breathing in peace. And exhaling, just letting go. Good. Bringing your hands to your knees. In today's warm up, we're gonna do those beautiful rolls that you've become quite used to, I'm sure. So nice big circles, warming up the spine. Here we go. It's a really chilly day here today and the clouds have been moving across the sun and back again. So I'm feeling super grateful to have some sun right now. All right, let's go the other way. And inhale and exhale. Here we go. So really just focusing on the breath. Even if you do nothing else and you're in a position where you can't do a yoga posture and you're feeling anxious or nervous or afraid, you can just take charge of your breath. So leaning back and forward with the exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. So with that Exhalation, imagine you're really pushing all the old stale air out. And while the air is leaving your body, you can also imagine that emotions that you don't want to be giving air time to anymore are also leaving your body and your being and your mind. Good. Let's take our hands to our ankles. So you might recall this does the upper back, so really helping with the shoulder tension. Great. And hands on the shoulders. And you're going to keep your chin dropped slightly and your spine is elongated. And there we go. Inhale one way and exhale the other. So I can really feel the winter chills leaving my spine as I do this. It's great for just getting everything moving, lubricated, warmed up. Nice. And coming back to center. And let's do some shoulder shrugs. So up and let it go. Exhale. <laughs> So those fast breaths, I know they sound a bit weird, right? But they help just to get rid of a lot of that old oxygen, flood your, your brain with new fresh air, fresh oxygen, so you let go of carbon dioxide. And a few more, these can be quite tough actually, right? And let it go, good. Right, let's do our neck rolls. So I'm gonna show you from the side. So when we roll, you drop your chin, try to get your ear to your shoulder. And when you go back, you're not going to crunch up because that can damage the vertebra. You want to extend your chin up to the sky. So dropping down. 
and chin to sky like that. Good. And again, just bring your awareness to your breath. And the other way. I don't know if you can hear the leaves with the wind blowing through them. Um, there's a beautiful tree in front of me with pink flowers and the petals are falling to the ground as the wind blows through it. So pretty. Right, and now we're going to roll over onto all fours. So again, you're nice and familiar with this one by now. Spreading your hands width apart underneath your hips toes are open and they're gonna inhale rounding the spine good and exhale arching looking up and again inhale and exhale inhale and exhale you should really feel the stretch in the belly that's also a place where we really tend to hold a lot of anxiety and tension you know that saying, go with your gut. And sometimes your gut just feels stressed and tense. So let's work at opening up the belly, relaxing, stretching those inner muscles. Good. And two more. Great. And let's just do a few movements. You might want to go back and stretch and just let your body feel how it wants to feel right now. Curving and curling and dropping your hands down. There we go. Only you know what this feel what feels good for you in this particular one, right? Okay, good. So let's tuck in our toes, take an inhale, and we're gonna go into downward dog. So breathe in and exhale, pushing your butt up to the sky. Come onto your tippy toes to start, and then dropping those heels down if you can get them to the ground. I'm going to walk it in. Beautiful deep breaths. Well done, guys. You're going to suck your belly in a little bit, not too tensely. And now make sure your head is relaxed. So just sh shake it for me a little bit. No tension in the neck. This is so good for feet when you're feeling down or feeling depressed, this particular one. It's funny talking to you upside down. So, I think because the oxygen rushes to the brain and when we come back upright, brand new clean oxygen floods it. And with that takes away old thoughts, old stagnant stuckness. So often when we're down and depressed, we get very still and just starting to move things can really, really help to shift that move the depression out, making way for new feelings, emotions, ways of being. Try pulling your knees up so your thighs are a bit firm. There we go. Two more breaths here. And let's drop our knees down. Take them wide to the sides of your mat. Put your toes together and push back into easy child. Then you want to rest your forehead on the mat. And just completely let go here. Beautiful, slow, deep breaths. Feeling the support of the ground underneath you. Good. And let's roll up very slowly, one vertebra at a time. You see my head comes up last. Nice. Okay. So, coming back to the mat. Now we're going to sit in a comfortable seated position. You can pull the flesh out from underneath your butt if you have any. So you're really sitting on your butt bones. If you prefer to put your feet out forwards, that's also fine. It's just as long as you're comfy. And to start, we're going to... Oh, I'm a bit confused. We're going to stretch one arm out. 
and the other one is pulling it over. And we're going to look over that shoulder, just enjoying a beautiful, calming twist. I'm pulling my belly in slightly and elongating my spine. So each vertebra is stacked one on top of the other. And now just focusing on the breath. Slow, gentle breathing, calming your nervous system. Nature's matching it. There's a gentle, beautiful breeze blowing. You can probably see the movement in the grasses around me. Feels really good on my skin. As I said that the wind picked up and it swapped sides. So now we're gonna take our head over the other way, stretching, stretch those shoulders, open the fingers as well. Um, we've got lines of energy called meridians that end in our fingers. And in ancient Chinese medicine, um, these meridians connect up with all our major organs, so our liver, our kidneys, our bladder, our heart. And when you stretch into the fingers, you're activating that as well. So it has a double positive effect on the body. Remembering to elongate your spine. So we're not slumping, pulling that belly in. Good. Gentle deep breaths. Good. Now we're gonna turn on to face the side of our mat again, pulling your flesh out from underneath you. And we can bring one foot up, tuck it into the inner thigh. And you can see this foot, I'm not just letting it hang out on holiday, it's active. So I'm pulling my toes up towards my face. I'm gonna Inhale, drawing in my belly, bring my hands up and slowly come forward. Now you want to keep your spine straight. So you can see I'm not doing this. My back's lovely, straight. And some of you might only be able to get there. Others a bit further and others a little further. It doesn't matter how far you get. This is about your beautiful wild body. So listen to yourself. Feel a lovely stretch on the back of the legs here. Deep, beautiful, soft breaths. And now we're going to do exactly what I said we shouldn't earlier, and we're going to round the spine and just let the hands go. You want to keep your foot active though. So this stretches a different part of the spine. You can actually feel areas that are often super tense. They're rounded now, but they're getting a different kind of a stretch. Stretching. Lovely, and slowly rolling up. Good. And let's swap over. So pulling that flesh out, tucking your foot into the thigh, activating your foot, and lifting the toes towards your face. Let's draw our hands up, inhale, pulling in the belly and exhale, nice flat back. So you can see this time I'm struggling to reach my toes. So the other side was looser. I'm going to rest my hands on the ankles. I'm not forcing my body. Just comfy. Really enjoying that gorgeous stretch at the back of my legs. And now dropping down. Rounding the spine. The pull at the back of the legs might even be enhanced at this point. Enjoy that feeling. 
good. And rolling up. Head comes up last. And let's just shake that out. So bringing the hands, um, the palms of the feet together. Butterfly pose. Opening up those hips. Shaking it out slightly. Good. And let's come down onto the mat. So one leg is going to be flat on the mat, my right leg is staying down, I'm going to tuck my left leg up and grab onto my toe, straightening up if you can, you might only be able to hold here or here, anything's fine, you listen to your body, you can hold on there, good stuff, my head is lifted, and breathing, enjoying the back stretch, Bottom toes are activated, awake, nice. Now we're going to take it down to the side and if you can keep it straight do so. Do your best, try get it onto the floor and I've dropped my head as you can see. I'm turning to look the other way so my head is turned to the side and breathe. Beautiful. And let's lift up and drop down. And the other one. So my right hand and my right foot come up. Inhale and exhale. Stretch up. Good. Stretching into that heel, drawing my toes towards my face. That tree I told you about with the flowers has the same color flowers as on my pants. What an amazing coincidence. Inhale and exhale. Let's drop to the side. Good. Now I'm looking at you, but let's rather turn the head to the side so you get that opposite stretch, a bit of a twist going. Lovely. That's really tight in there for me. Feels good to stretch it out. And let's go, let go of the toe, inhale, lift it up and dropping it down. And now we're going to go into Shivasana. So that's the corpse pose. Shivasana means corpse pose. Completely relaxed and surrendered. You open your hands to the sky, drop your feet out sideways, close your eyes if you want to. If you want to lie in a different position, that's totally fine as well. Maybe you prefer to be on your side. And let's just focus on our breath. So if you're outside, feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin. And if you're inside, let's imagine this. Our imaginations are so powerful. The sun is gently touching your skin, warming your body and your bones. The earth is supporting you, holding you up. Feel the touch points, so the back of your legs touching the earth, back of your hands. Maybe there's a gap in the middle of your back where it's not touching. Just being aware of where you're connecting with the earth. Allowing your eyes to sink down and look at your heart. So even though they're closed, imagine that they're turning inward and looking down to the center where all the love in the world sits right inside of you. around you. I can hear birds and a gentle breeze wriggling your feet rubbing your fingertips and your thumbs together and pull your knees up give yourself a hug and a little rock up and down massaging your spine to come sitting sitting up keeping your eyes closed if you've been lying 
down. And just bringing your hands to your heart in prayer. Dropping your chin slightly. Just giving thanks. And taking the time for yourself today. You can slowly open your eyes. Thank you so much for joining us with and beyond wild child yoga. I'm Melissa Aidy and we'll see you next week. Namaste.